Well, hello everyone. Dan Herbert, Dan Herbert Prospecting here. And Dana. We are back at the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. Our first trip in here this year. The snow has just left. We fought a little on the way in actually. We're here to harvest some more Ocean Picture Stone, check out the climb, see how winter treated it, and enjoy the great outdoors. So wish us luck, and I hope you enjoy. Now on the way in, we found some claim jumpers. We found a whole herd, a herd on the herd claim, a herd of elk just hanging out in this little draw right here. We scared them up, they ran down the hill, but it was amazing to see the huge, majestic elk just hanging out here. Anyhow, let's go see how that claim looks. Dana's already picking up stone. Anything good? <laughs> Now we have a little bit of a problem with our ocean picture stone quarry here. We're running out of stone. We've had an amazing year, a couple years of selling stone online, www.danherdprospecting.com, and our quarry is starting to get thinner and thinner pickings, right to the point where like many of the seams have now do dove, dove, doven, have gone into the mountain. It's time to start looking around here for some new seam some new deposits to get new stone because I really see within a year's time us running out. That's our job today is to check out some of the smaller seams around and see if maybe they show larger deposits. Dana just hollered and said she found some. I'm not quite sure where she is but I'm gonna go find her. What I found. <laughs> is this you trying to get me to call you a hoe? I found. Dana found a hole. Oh, I see a seam. It looks to be, you know, good inch and a half thick. It goes, it goes up. up in there. Red, blue, white, what we're looking for. And this is a place we haven't really even investigated much. Doesn't look like a lot of material though. And looks like it's very hard to harvest, but there's one. Spend some time clearing that and we'll have a look. Uh, do you have a tool better than this? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yes, yes I do. <laughs> so back to where I was going originally. We want to start looking at some of these seams. Like there's a nice little chunk of blue there. We want to start looking at some of these seams and seeing if they might develop into something bigger that is really worth putting a lot of time into extracting a lot from. Some of these things are quite nice, but they're kind of buried and we just don't know what's down deep in there. So it's time to start clearing some material. And even though this material doesn't really weather, it doesn't fade in sunlight, some of these rocks that have been out on the surface for decades, you know, lichens grown over them, we can't really see how blue they are inside. So we have to start clearing, breaking, and getting an idea of what we really have in these other deposits. And up here is one I really want to work on today. This seam here is right up at ground level, up, you know, at the top, going back. And if this seam actually goes back that way, it would be too hard to break into to get a lot of material. You can see here where I put the feather and wedge in just to break off a new chunk to see what the blue is. And the blue inside is very, very nice. Now it's a case of, you know, feather and wedging up higher, breaking off a big chunk, clearing the sides, seeing where it goes, and hoping for a much larger deposit right here that will carry us into the future. Now, unfortunately, I dug around the side of the knob here and it seems to go straight back. I was hoping it would go straight over. So I've got three holes right now. I'll do one more over here near the edge. We'll see if we can break off this front lump. Okay, four feathering wedges. Set in place. Let's see if we can break off this front. I have a feeling this one's gonna pop this knob off. And I'm afraid this one might just pop off this end. Be nice if it came off in one chunk, but let's see. Figured that one knocked that corner off. Nice enough piece. Let's see if I can reset this down the hole. I 
hear pops and cracks. Don't know if I'm gonna get the whole chunk, but I hear pops and cracks. Definitely the top knob here. Definitely the end. Not getting what I want. Hmm. May need to put more in. Now, unfortunately, only chunks came off. I probably should have used more feather and wedges to get that off as a full piece, but the color is nice inside there. Now this will come, I have a feeling it's gonna come in parts now. I've got four more, three in line, one going at a weird angle to try to direct the crack. I hear a crack of coming. Oh, I see the crack. I see it over here. Come on, baby. Okay, we got something there. That's loose. This is the tight one. Because it's at a different angle. Come on, I see the crack. That one's down. I see one coming out front here, unfortunate. I see one coming out over the side here, that's nice. I see it going through there. And that piece there is loose. I could probably pop that off right now. Beautiful color. There we go. The first reveal from this new seam. One, two, three, come on, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful solid blue. Inclusions. That's what we're talking about. If that seam goes back, which it looks like it does, we could have a lot, a lot of material. Let's hope because whew, our other big seam is almost done. Okay, the second piece is loose. You can hear it's loose, you can hear it's popping. Oh, as I tap it more, I hear more breaking going on inside. Okay, here comes the next piece. It is loose. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Nice, nice, nice material. And shards like that are perfect for our chip bags. That'll be perfect in one of the big chip bags. Here comes the next chunk coming off, or a couple of them. I don't think this has any color in it. It's just white. Yeah, this one does. This, ooh. Oh, look at it. Look. Wow, love it. And this one, yep, that'll be a bit different, but that'll have something in it too. Almost, not quite. That's what you'd consider up top there, low quality. Had to throw one more feather and wedge down below to try to move that piece up and out. And the cracks are starting to open. It should come in no time. And here we go. It's a loose. Let's see what's inside. Pull up feather and wedges first so they don't fall. And yeah, baby. Look at the patterns. Even though it's ended off the side here, it looks like it's going back that way. I'd love to have an excavator up here, hook on underneath and just pop that off. But unfortunately I need permits to do that. That is my next step on this claim. Put permits in to get machinery up here to try to open up some new ground because as I said, I'm running out of the stuff I can harvest by hand. Unfortunately, permits are a lot of work. They cost a lot of money and they take a long time to go through. It's like a years long process. So I know, I should get on it. And the next piece is loose, Ugh, loose ish. There we go. One, two, three, baby. Look at the dendrites, loving it. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel or watch my channel, this stuff here is BC Ocean Picture Stone. That is its official mineral name. That's what it's called. It's a chalcedony mixed with other minerals that makes these beautiful ocean scenes. And I own the only claim known to mankind of BC Ocean Picture Stone. Beautiful stuff.
Dana tells me there's no water in the main pit right now, so maybe it's time for a little wander to see what the main pit looks like and give my arm a bit of a, a break from swinging. I get tired easy. On the way down, there's another little knob that's showing blue that I really want to clear off everything in behind to see if that maybe goes back into a big seam. So Dana's down there in the main pit. There's no water in the main pit, which, you know, I expected to, that to be full, which means I can actually go and harvest some of the main seam at any point there. It's not that I'm done down there. It's just, I see the end in the near future. There's still lots to harvest. I can still move over farther, but the end is near. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Have an owie. Uh-oh, she has a red finger. Yeah. Uh-oh. Just walking back from Dana there and I look down. How is that rock just sitting on the surface? We've walked over it a million times and it's one of the most, you know, perfect little scenes possible. And it was just sitting right there. So it looks like eight feather and wedges were able to take off that whole front there into, you know, one bigger piece and a whole bunch of smaller pieces. You know, I sell smaller pieces easier than I sell bigger pieces. So when I break them into the smaller pieces, I'm not all that concerned about that. I know those, you know, lapidary artists out there are <laughs> crying on the inside right now saying that I break up the big pieces but I can sell the small ones. Anyhow if I put like 12 along that back edge I might be able to pop off maybe even in a big chunk the next little section. Well, there we go. Seven feather and wedges along there. I have an eighth I can put in if I really need to. Now, I'm a little concerned that, you know, there's that much material before the blue and those holes don't go to that deep. The main flaw is down here. I don't know if I can crack down that far. I don't know if eight's gonna do it, seven's gonna do it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I think I'm just breaking off the cap. <laughs> that was a big pop. <laughs> I don't know what I've got going on here. It's loose. I can see big cracks. It's about to come. I don't know if I've got just the cap or I think it's just the cap though. Just the capstone. Not the blue. The next layer gets the blue. Let's see what's, got. what's over here. Ooh, very milky blue. Dana just had to come down and have a look because she, from above you can't see what I'm working at. She didn't believe me that there was blue here. I didn't bring my little water squirty bottle. That would have uh, really shown off the, the colors here a lot better than right now I've got so much of this dust on the surface that it's all powdery, but that's a really nice blue seam. And it goes all the way down there. Unfortunately, from above, I just got the capstone off. So I need a second row of feather and wedges to get down into the blue. Well, let's get at her. I feel a storm a brewing. We could get some snow here in a second. It's still blue over there. Anyhow, second round, I came down a couple inches from the first, put all those in. I should be able to get a real nice layer of blue out of this now. It's getting harder and harder to see what I'm working at because I'm getting more and more dust on it. Good brainstorm might help. Go. Got something going. I see one crack there. Nothing else up front. Oh, this looks solid. I'm hoping this is coming off as one. Here comes the snow. It's 
so I can see it breaking free down here. So I got blue coming off there. I hope it cuts straight down and then comes forward and not a big flat sort of just plate. Straight down would be nice, but that would require a flaw in the stone at the bottom of the blue. Those are all in. What's going on here? We got bustification everywhere. Definitely just a plate coming off the surface. Darn it. Well, the first piece is really nice, real beautiful blues, but I see a powdery layer in it, which is a layer of calcium that goes through the chalcedony. Chalcedony, as I like to call it. Which means that if the, the feather and wedges start affecting that layer, that yeah, the crack would have followed that layer. Which makes me think I've got nothing but plates coming off the surface. But gotta find some cracks to find out. Okay, here's the first good piece. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Here comes the snow too. Oh yeah, beautiful chunk. Here comes a good chunk. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful piece. And yes, I just have a cap coming off. How sad is that? It's gonna be a beautiful cap. I can see underneath it. One. Just broke off the surface on that calcium layer. And a really nice piece of coming. It's not coming easily. There we are. Oh, baby. Baby. Look at the blue. Baby blue. And lots of it. Dendrites in there. Great chips for chip bags. I think I got this corner piece loose too. I can see the crack there, I can see the crack there. The corner's coming off. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <gasps> There's some nice stuff here, that's for sure. Well, I'll take that any day of the week. This was just one of those other seams I wanted to try. Took one quick feather and wedge in it, broke it off, and the most amazing blue. Unfortunately, it's not a very big area. It's lovely weather here in BC. Gotta love spring in BC. Either too hot, too cold, too snowy, too rainy, too dry, too windy. It's British Columbia in the spring. So my absolutely amazing wife, Dana here, she runs the web store. And she just came to me and said, Dan, quit screwing around. We need premium stone. We've moved down to the main pit. We're gonna see what we can get from sort of the known deposit right now. Next time I'm up here, I will check out some of those other spots that might have product for the future. Right now, we need stuff for right now. So let's get premium stone. So I thought I'd bring the camera down, rather than the time lapse from up on the hill, down here and show you the rock I'm pulling out of here. Our premium stone from our premium seam. And we are getting some really beautiful chunks of it today. Like really, really nice stuff. However, as I said before, it is running out. We only have a small section of it left before we have to go into the mountain. So we're getting watts today. There's some more of it right there. That stuff there is not premium, that's mid. So. We got enough to keep the store going, at least for the spring. And then, who knows what we're doing. You having fun? I am. <laughs> we got one really nice piece coming today. Nice big piece. Generator sitting right on it. Oh baby, oh baby. That is amazing. There's our premium stone right there. That one will be cut up and probably into three very large specimens because I can't bring it to myself to cut that into one pound pieces. <laughs> you can see where it's come clean off the next chunk here. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a natural fracture that's filled yeah. in. So this blue will still continue on the other side of that, but it's dirty. 
Now, if you want this rock as it is, I probably won't cut it by the time this video comes out. You can contact me through my website, www.danherdprospecting.com and ask for the rock, but that's probably gonna be a four to $5,000 rock as it is. If I cut it into three, then we're talking like three $1,500 rocks. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. And your back was good today. And it's still good. <laughs> I need a massage! I guess my work is the cleanup. Some of these are freaking amazing pieces. I can't really sell because it's just like 99% white, a little bit of the most amazing blue ever. And it's not worth cutting that off. Saw time is precious. So I think for a rock like this, I'm gonna take this to one of our local shows. In fact, I'm gonna be at the BC Gem Show in the middle of May. And that will be one of the rocks that I have there for sale because I can't sell it as premium, but there is unbelievably premium material in it. I'm looking forward to the next time coming here. We got lots to work with. Well, that is some beautiful premium, premium, very nice premium. BC Ocean Picture Stone. Beautiful stuff. Well, that was a fun day. We got a bit of uh, new material to work with going into the future. Still not enough to keep us going forever though. I am worried. We got a bunch of unbelievable premium stuff, enough to keep us going on the store for at least a month. Gotta get back here and get more of that. And we had the most amazing outing. Dana and I, date night, date day, at the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry, working our butts off. Yes, we had fun. I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, please leave us that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope I've earned your subscription now. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Heard Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Even though it's snowing, I am. And until the next one, bye. Bye.